You ever wonder why the banana flavored candy doesn't taste like the bananas you buy at the grocery store? Here's why. Banana flavoring tends to be based on a mostly extinct variety called the Grove Michelle. It was nearly wiped out in the 1950s from Fusarium wilt, and the market replaced it with the immune Cavendish variety. Each banana variety is genetically identical from one plant to another, and thus susceptible to the same diseases. And that's a problem, because the same thing is happening again. The last few years, a new Fusarium wilt has been spreading around the world, and since the supply chain is saturated with Cavendish bananas, the entire market is at risk of collapse in the next few years. The solution is the same as it was 70 years ago. Switch the main banana. Ideally, it needs to be genetically close enough to have similar flavor, ripening time, and not be easily bruised. That's harder to find than you think. Scientists have been working hard for years trying to make or breed a new variety that will take the place of the Cavendish. But they're not there yet, and the clock is ticking as Fusarium wilt continues its spread around the globe. And that's why banana-flavored candy doesn't taste like bananas, and why the market as a whole is in trouble once again.